Hello guys, Greenbird here. Welcome to Paleo Greenbird. Today's video is going to be uh, about billet care, or you know, keeping your tools in working order. My my billets are pretty beat up. I don't do a very good job at keeping them as um, as well maintained as I should. And basically, you know, once they start to get so chipped up that they, you'll see there'll be grooves and marks and divots and all kinds of stuff. Uh, can you still use them? Of course you can, but um, you'll find that you'll start getting some more crushed edges. And basically, to the best of what I can figure out is that, you know, when the copper uh, it gets too many marks in it, <laughs> I'm feeling like maybe it has a hard time gripping the stone because you've got little divots, and maybe it's gripping it in one spot, not the same on the other, and, and so forth. So, uh, pretty simple. I mean, eventually your copper billets, if you, unless you have solid copper, they're going to wear out. You're going to need new ones. I've got these really nice handles. I got these billets actually from Jim Conacher. I hope I'm saying that name right. Um, you know, if you're going to buy new tools, he, he makes really good tools. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hammer and I'm just going to try and... You're never going to get it back to original form, but you'll see. And I'm, I'm actually going to use my safety glasses when I do this. Uh, I'm just going to pound the pound it. just to try and flatten it as much as I can. And I'm not saying flatten the dome, I mean flatten the surface. And I would say, you know, you, you want to flatten these. It's going to take a little bit of time, but um, don't hit them too hard. Just take, take your time. Actually, the first set of billets that I was trying to repair, I smacked them so hard I ended up cracking through the copper and uh, that didn't do, that didn't do me any favors I ended up having to get a new billet that way I didn't have these nice handles it was a little you know plastic handle billet that I, I put offline online Oop. move down on the hammer a little bit Let the tool do the work. I just look at it every now and again, see if I'm see if it's flattening out. I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't I don't usually hammer it out until it's perfect. You know, if I can run my fingers across it, I'm not getting snags and stuff like that. I figure that's probably good enough. Try not to lose the shape of your billet. And if you do, you can always just reshape it. And everybody has a preference with the shape of their billets. Um, what you'll hear mostly is that that round, domed sort of shape works the best. It's what I've used. Uh, when you first buy these caps from the plumbing store, they're pretty much completely square. Um, but I know a napper who naps very well and his billets are completely square. He doesn't shape them at all. So it's just kind of what you get used to, I guess. All right, so you can kind of see that hopefully. I can't see with this glare with the sun, but I've sort of rounded it back off. I've tried to hammer in as much of the rough spots as I can. I don't go for completely smooth just because, like I said, I've done that in the past and you just end up ruining your billets. But just try and, get, try and hammer out that texture, trying to get it so that it's, you know, instead of looking like, um, you know, I can't, I can't think of an analogy right now, but in, instead of looking all porous and everything, at least it's condensed a little bit. It's still not going to be smooth, but you'll be able to tell. So that's what you want to do to keep your billets in good shape. Sometimes I like to take past a little bit of an angle on the sides here, just because when you push the when you hit the hammer down there, sometimes it'll push the copper down. This way you can kind of redisperse it. 
that's really what you're doing. You're just redispersing the copper that's there. That's why you have to be so careful. But be careful when you're doing this. Uh, when I first did this, I hit too hard. I knocked the tip of my billet right off. I had to Gorilla Glue it back on. Once you're satisfied that you've got it back in working order, you go on to the next billet. So I hope this is helpful to somebody. I know it's kind of, you know, basic information, but I didn't have anybody to share this basic information with me when I first started, so I, I hope this helps somebody out there. If you have any questions, uh, please post. Please like this video, share it. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys watching it, and I hope to see you again. All right, Paleo Greenbird, signing out.